A possible independent candidate for president has been making the rounds in South Florida. He's Howard Schultz, the former CEO of Starbucks, who grew the chain from a handful of stores to a giant coffee chain we know today. Schultz sat down with CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy, who asked him if being a billionaire qualifies him to be president. Well, I'm, I'm a self-made person. I grew up in public housing. I built a global company in 77 countries. I gave free health care, ownership, and free college tuition to every employee. We have over 300,000 people who work for Starbucks. I have a track record of creating not only a profitable company, but a deep sense of humanity. So when I hear people vilifying those people who are a capitalist, uh, you know, capitalism has been the lifeblood of our free enterprise system. So I'm proud of the success that I've enjoyed, and, I, it, and my success can only happen in America. We should be celebrating that. Let's talk about some of the things that are unique to Florida and Florida politics here. What's your, what's your position as it relates to Cuba? Should the embargo be maintained? Should, should we have more trade with Cuba? Where do you stand on Cuba? I think we should have more trade with Cuba. I think uh, this is not a time in, um, that I believe that America should be building walls. We should be building bridges. Uh, I, I spent yesterday at Vicky's Bakery uh, with a lot of Cuban Americans who are so proud of what they've been able to do. Uh, and yet so many people from Cuba, from Venezuela, from Nicaragua, from Guatemala are so deeply concerned about where the country could be headed. Uh, so the short answer to your question is yes, we should, we should be more open and more opportunistic with Cuba. You mentioned Venezuela. How do you get rid of someone like uh, Nicolas Maduro? Or do, would you want to get yes, rid of I someone would. like Yes, I would. Yes, I would, because the, the election obviously was not legitimate. The president needs to step in. Uh, we need allies to do that. Uh, but this is a moment of truth, a moment of leadership, uh, with a, where American democracy and our values need to be played out, and we have a role to play there, yes. Uh, let's turn to guns. Obviously, this community is severely affected by the tragedy in Parkland. Where do you stand on the issue of guns and an assault weapons ban? Well, is there a better example of our broken politics and with both sides cannot come together on behalf of the American people when approximately 80% of the American people want to see significant legislation, common sense legislation on gun legislation. The Second Amendment should be preserved, I get that, but there should be a ban on weapons of war. And I think about those kids in Parkland and what they tried to do and the, and the emotion and the tragedy of this. Uh, th this is a perfect example to me of why there's a need for an independent voice and why I'm seriously thinking of running for president outside of the two-party system. Let's talk immigration for a moment. Um, Another great example of the broken two-party system. Do you want to see a pathway to citizenship for those who are in this country currently without papers? I think the Republicans have it right. We need The borders need to be secure. Uh, ICE needs to have a role to play. But if I was fortunate enough to become president, the dreamers should have a pathway to citizenship. The 11 million people here who are unauthorized should get in line, pay a fee, pay back taxes. But we also need an immigration opportunity to bring immigrants back into this country and demonstrate once again the heritage and the values of our, of our democracy. But this is another issue. 79% of the American people want to see a common sense solution to immigration. Can we get an immigration bill with Republicans and Democrats who want to fight each other and weaponize this as a political issue? We can't. When you say, I just want to be clear about one point, when you say get in line, does that mean leave the United States, go back to their home no, no, country? No, no, no. I don't, no, I don't mean that at all. Okay. I mean, get I just in, want to be clear. Yeah, get in line is what I mean is a fair, equitable way so that they don't jump through uh, and get in front of the other people who are here legally trying to become citizens. But I listen to you. You're in favor of an assault weapons ban. You favor more along the lines of Obama's policy towards engagement with Cuba. You, you, you know, want a pathway for citizenship for, for those who are here in this country illegally. You're a Democrat. No, I'm not a Democrat. No, I was a Democrat, but I'm also f fiscally conservative. $22 trillion in debt, $500 billion in interest expense. We need a strong level of defense. Russia is an enemy of the country. This president has, has turned a blind eye. China is a fierce competitor to the United States. They're going to displace us as the economic power in the world. This president took us out of the TPP. This president is denying science. 
Yeah, I'm not, I am an American, a proud American who realizes the two-party system is broken. I'm not running against the Democratic Party if I run for president. I'm running against the two-party system because the American people deserve better. Jim and Schultz spoke at length on several other topics, and you can watch more of their interview on Facing South Florida this Sunday at 1130 right here on CBS4.